Yeah, yeah basically what you're looking at earlier today, uh, we're out there conducting reset training. Uh, it's absolutely paramount in a combat environment that this is done. Uh, it's brought back to early 2004, Lieutenant Colonel McCoy uh, came out with the article, Brilliance in the Basics. Uh, you're dealing with three different topics here, uh, preventive maintenance on the weapon systems, uh, discipline uh, within the unit, and also speed reloads, magazine reloads, and uh, conducting combat BZO periodically. Uh, the reason for this, though, is a lot of the Marines uh, out here, uh, which I'm pretty sure you're familiar with the term complacency kills, uh, after a few weeks, they start losing focus. This gets them back here. They get a little R&R, &R, uh, you know, get on the internet, speak with the families for a little bit. But more importantly, get up there on that range, get back in that combat mindset and refocus. You know, with SASO in a uh, perfect Marine Corps, uh, you're looking at guard, patrolling, uh, rest, and then uh, QRF. Uh, with that, you know, if you were to break it down, four different groups, six hours at a piece. Uh, right now, with the type of tempo that we're at, uh, it's pretty high. Uh, platoons are spread a little thin, companies spread a little thin. Uh, Marine Corps as a whole and RC South is uh, spread uh, pretty thin here. So with us, uh, organic to my platoon, uh, we're working with uh, two squads out of patrol base and one squad back here, typically rotating every five to seven days. So, you know, the Marines can see themselves right on that two-week schedule. Uh, coming back here uh, to the company fob and conducting that reset training. Extremely important, you know, it gives the Marine a chance to take a step back, reevaluate, you know, his TTPs, uh, his patrolling actions and everything. So when we go out there next time, we have a game plan. Uh, some of the things that we might have seen prior to coming back, uh, we can revamp and uh, set a, center a new focus on for uh, the next patrolling efforts. It's here in the gunshot. Familiarization is key. Uh, is generic as it does sound, being at the pits and the range is probably one of the most conducive training objectives that the Marine Corps has available uh, to relate to a combat firefight situation. Uh, to speak with my Marines last time, uh, when we were just down south recently, we were just uh, at a compound and rounds were whizzing over their head. I said, hey, we're at the rifle range, boys. We're in the pits. So, uh, you know, it gave them a good, good comfort, good warm and fuzzy, you know, so, when we get back here, they hear it as well. They hear those rounds cracking off uh, and that target acquisition on the range. So it puts them right back in that comfort level.